Well, sorry for being so late with my uh, Homebrew Wednesday video. I'm doing it Saturday. Um, been work all, all week and haven't had time to, to do um, an Homebrew Wednesday thingy that you're supposed to do, etc. <laughs> So I guess smack bum for for the old fat. However, um, in the week it came a bit later. Uh, I, I ordered a, a brand new uh, capper because I've been told off by a few brew tubers about me hammer and me capper. I'll, I'll show you me hammer and me capper. Well, you've seen an hammer before, but where's me capper? Yeah, here's me capper. You see, you've been telling me off about using that. And to be absolutely honest, I shouldn't be telling you this, but I did break two bottles, and it's the first time I've ever done that. So I thought, oh dear, if ever it went through a bloody vein and the old fart were found dead in the shed, not an happy feeling for the missus. I think she'd be really upset with that. So what I decided to do is purchase on the internet a new cap on. And this is it. Look at that baby. Bloody hell. So, yeah... It looks pretty damn good actually. Now I had a capper before, I got it from Wilco. Steve Molson's got a similar one from Tesco. I've sent him a little uh, a little uh, uh, message if you like to say go easy because these th this bit here like that, where it's got a big chunk of plastic on the on the other ones it's just got a bit of steel there instead of the plastic. And I bent it, I bent the bloody thing. So be care careful Steve. And if you've not watched his channel, watch his channel because he, uh, he does a lot of good stuff on his channel. So I'll put a link to Steve's channel below. Now also, what we're doing. Oh, our review. Now this looks a, a sturdy bit of kit. I think it was about 14 quid. I got it off eBay. Come pretty quick. Um, I'll try and find the link. But it's really, really heavy. So... Uh, and also, as I was saying, the, the, the metal, there's no metal there, look, it's, it's plastic to plastic, plastic to the to the bottle there. So, let's do one and see what we think. So, pop a sanitised what's it on there, and uh, see what happens. Oh, look at that, nice and firm, very good. It went down with a nice plod. Easy to pull off, and uh, I think you'll find that's a bloody good seal. Let's see if there's any bubbles coming out. No. But uh, yeah, this looks quite robust. It's not that much dearer than the uh, the, the the other crown cappers or whatever they're bloody called. I were going to get one of them what's it ones, you know, but a bit stretched. So let's try another. We'll try it on an awkward one. Yeah, not a Stella bottle. They're normally right sons of bitches. So let's try one of them. There you go. Any road up, that's my review. Not a very good review. I'm not a very good reviewer, I don't suppose. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It's worked out quite well. So... I'm still working on my, uh, you know, my start to finish videos, and uh, I shall be uploading them in the next week or so. So, uh, in the meantime, I'll keep popping on and doing a bit of silly slobber, and uh, we'll call it a day for now. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. Happy home brew Saturday. Bit of a postscript: it won't work on these type of bottles. One's at Adnams, and uh, the other is I don't know, but it's got this bloody beveled upside down what's it so they won't work so crown topper for them life and limb job